the use of color doppler again as i said it is a good habit to be well versed with the uh, uh, the color imaging where it will be useful is um, you know systemic and pulmonary veins to see the flow across the av valves and ventricular septum especially if there is a vsd a muscular vsd semilunar valves and ductal and the aortic arch so this is typically the two inflows and the two outflows you can in fact in uh, you know one sweep you can you know literally see everything these are the two inflows and uh, then as you start uh, coming towards the outflow this is the lvot which is there in the center of the heart it is carrying blood away from the heart so it is seen in that uh, uh, blue color away from the transducer and uh, then there will be the rvot which is the bifurcation is seen then you come to a three vessel trachea view the svc the aorta and the pulmonary in fact you are seeing the zygous uh, you know joining the svc you can see it even in uh, a 2d image here and uh, you know you don't really need anything else to say that this heart is normal so the two inflows the lvot the rvot the three vessel trachea view and these are the arch views the, in the aortic arch view most of the times you can see the ivc coming into the uh, right atrium so these are Uh, the color pictures and uh, you know we have the habit of taking one 2d image and simultaneously showing one color image in all our routine anomaly scans at 18 to 20 weeks and it has helped us a lot of course the pulmonary veins uh, mandatory to show only two pulmonary veins but with again good machines and uh, you know a power doppler by directional power doppler uh, reducing the scale uh, making your box little smaller in size it will really show you all the pulmonary veins beautifully uh, this is the one set of pulmonary veins and here you can see here only one is seen in this view but if you you know adjust your transducer you will be able to see both and then this is a you know a three vessel view i have lowered the uh, prf to see the flow coming in the uh, svc uh, there we also include uh, the arsa i mean the normal right subclavian view in this and we try in that section automatically you tend to see the left brachiocephalic uh, but again these are not the mandatory pictures and this is uh, how you will see uh, the arch uh, views uh the aortic arch and the ductal arch the highest arch is the aortic arch and then there is this uh ductal arch which is seen little below that if you observe both are seen in this view this is the aortic arch which is little superior and this is the one which is going behind below that is the the ductal arch so pulse doppler uh, you know again good practice point to get used to the scan uh, where to place the sample width and how to scan uh, so you have to place the sample volume distal to the targeted valve keep insulating angle at less than 20 degrees from the direction of flow whenever there is any pathology say there is a regurgitation you have to place the sample volume in the brightest color so you get the maximum gradient or maximum velocity due to obtain doppler waveforms during fetal apnea not so much of a problem at 20 weeks but at 20 weeks the fetus is moving sometimes so this is where you will put your spectral sample uh, if you are insulating tricuspid valve what is the distal to the valve is the flow direction is like this from the atria to the ventricle so the distal is here if you are insulating pulmonary valve what is the distal the flow is across the ventricles to the great arteries so what is distal it is here so this is how you will keep insulating the angles and typically the inflows have this e and a waves and the outflows have any arterial kind of a spectral pattern